Dutch Prime Minister uh, didn't go and see his dying mother, who was dying from COVID-19, because of the rules that his government had set the Dutch people. That's leadership. That is actually putting sacrifice, personal sacrifice of the greatest kind, uh, ahead of anything else and doing what you felt was best for the country to send the right example. What Dominic Cummings has done with the complete support of the Prime Minister and every senior cabinet minister is he's taken this country for a bunch of mugs. He's basically said, here are your rules, little people. You all obey them. But when it happens to me, I will go home to see my sick wife who's got COVID symptoms. Then I'll go back to work, breaking one rule. Then I'll go back and pick up my wife and kid and drive 250 miles to my second home, breaking, breaking another rule, letter or spirit, whatever you want to call it. Then in the middle of the time when both me and my wife have what we think is COVID, driving our son to an NHS hospital with COVID in the car, in other words, him and his wife, which breaks another rule, which most of us would not have been doing. Then he goes on a jolly on his wife's birthday to a castle. And then he has the brass neck to lie about it and pretend it's got something to do with his dodgy eyesight and says, my eyesight was playing up a bit. I couldn't really see properly. So I put my four-year-old kid in the back, the one that I did all this to care for. And I, I did it to test my eyesight. He's taking us for mugs. And he's got the full support of the prime minister and of all the senior cabinet, all of whom have been standing at that podium day after day saying, stay at home, protect the NHS, save lives. Dominic Cummings didn't stay at home. He didn't protect the NHS. And he's probably, with all the scenes we're now seeing of the lockdown collapsing, single-handedly ending the lockdown and will cost a lot of lives. And I can't think of a more serious situation than that. And yet there he is, not even apologising, not acknowledging he made a single mistake or did anything wrong. And I'm sorry, I think it's a total disgrace. Now you tell me why.